it is it is our duty, our mandate, to ensure law and order. But what somebody intends doing, or crime in, he has intended to commit, sometimes we are unable to prevent it. It does happen, and it is for us to respond accordingly. Well, someone would say that we should live in a society where all these things should not happen. But it's an ideal one, and I don't know, I don't think it is possible to have a society that is crime-free. They will okay, but our response and how we are able to manage it is what is important. Is political manipulation one of the challenges the police is facing in dealing with I, 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 we, When crimes are committed, we don't give it any color. It's crime. So we deal with it as that. But when you have groups affiliated to one party or another committing I think these crimes, a, when, or allegedly committing these crimes, when you have groups that are affiliated to one party or another allegedly committing these crimes, doesn't yes. then make it somehow political? This is the last question. As a police officer, we deal with crimes. If you are from a political party, you commit a crime, we're going to deal with you accordingly and not as somebody coming from another political party. Thank you.